Hi guys and welcome to game one of Black Marker vs Townsend. It's a ZV... ZVT on oh, no, the Shattered Temple. This is Dark Star for the Castcraft AU tournament. Black Market sending his Overlord Scout to see the close air position. Always good for Zerks to do that. First time I've seen Black Market play, so uh, yeah, I'm keen to see how it goes. It's gone for drones up until 10. Over here, we should be seeing a supply depot coming out soon. Looks like that one might be doing it. Overlord on 10, supply depot out front because he's walling up, he knows he's against the Zerg player. One extractor trick for an 11th drone. Coming up on 100 minerals and two larvae. So we've got some drones coming out, heavy drones. So we've got 13 drones now. Back at the Terran Cam, we're going for refinery. So gas on 12. A little bit early on the gas. Maybe we'll see some tech coming out here. Should see barracks any moment now. And get some minerals. And um, let's see what he sees here. Townsend will see the Overlord if he's watching his minimap. Drone coming out here. Is he going to go for a fast expand? He is. So it's going to be a 15 hatch before the spawning pool. Still no gas yet. So uh, often uh, Zerg players will do gas straight away after that, try and get that ling speed going straight away. It looks like he's going to go spawning pool before that. So maybe some spine crawlers as defense or we'll go uh, straight to some roaches. Back over at the Terran cam, we've got gas going. Lots of gas, 116 gas. We might even see a factory with all that gas. Or we could see a tech lab, some marauders. Could see... can't see another barrack straight up. That overlord moving around the side and a drone coming out to take the watchtower. Gas coming down, so it's going to be 17 gas after the hatchery. We're going to need another overlord soon. We've got the overlord coming out, so it looks like he might be doing a double queen if he saves up a bit of money. Yep, there's a bit of money. Got drones coming over. Factory, straight to the factory. So with all that extra gas. We went straight to the factory. First queen is down, and hopefully a second queen as this hatchery finishes. Four zerglings on the way. Drone chasing that marine back to home base. There's a bunker. So we got a, a bunker attack with some marines coming down. The SUV looks like it was taken out. Cancelled. Where'd that marine go? Marine still hanging around. Factory and a reactor might see some heliums. We got the minerals. Yeah, we got lots of minerals. Might see some hellions uh, while we're going for a late orbital command. Oh, it's still on 17, so that's acceptable. Might see this pop over straight away afterwards. Zerglings holding the watchtower. Lots more drones. Five more in, in the way. Still only the one gas, so uh, coming up on 100, so I might see some metabolic boost soon. We have got the factory moving across, but the wall is blocked up. Going for an Tech lab and hopefully some double hellions. Command center coming out, so he knows that the Zerg player has to fast expand, so he's gonna have to get some money fast. Still, no more Zerglings or other units for focusing on drones. There's a metabolic boost to protect the two bases. Queen on each. If we saw a third queen, we might be able to uh, spread that creep while still producing a larvae. Still only need one gas, but of course we can always do a Spanishi or style and do all the gas all at once and play catch up that way. Ooh, some toasted zerglings, so that one lucky enough to get away. No, I guess not. So toasting up the zerglings and that aquatic manse has been built. To counter that, we've got a spine crawler coming down and link speed is halfway done. So spine crawler here and one here is a good placement on the spine crawlers. Zerglings coming back for that creep speed. Queen's low on energy, which is awesome. It means that he's popping the larvae straight away. Lots of lings, but on creep, they will be able to take them out. 
drones lined up. I'm gonna get the drones, line them up, and no, they're going to do their job. The base is safe and link speed on the way, so with that link speed, you should be able to possibly expand. But a rule of thumb for every Zergling attacking a destructible rock, it is about 12 minutes to take down that rock. So two Zerglings, six minutes, four Zerglings, about three minutes. So the more Zerglings you have on those rocks, the faster they get taken down. Let's see if he's going to go up. No, he's going to go for an attack. Personally, I'd be worried seeing those Hellions, but there's probably more on the way. Hellions might be going for some blue flame or maybe some siege tech. We've got a starport down here and we're going for the expand. What sort of tech are we going to see out? Overseer on the side for a bit of scouting. We're going to overlord our back for a bit of sacrificial scouting later on. He's going to retreat and that command is going to come back into place. Still no motion out of here. Looks like we're going to go for siege tank. Overseer coming in. Let's see what's going to see. Our forces He's going to see. Oh, got anything attacked? Just a middle. That's going to see that. And. Helion's attacking in the middle. They're taken down by the Zerglings. Spire on the way. Odd. Um. <laughs> Oh, of course, they're so trying to be transferred down and then got blocked because the buildings are blocking it up. So that, that one there we can see. You might need to do uh, some lifting with the medevac to get them out without dropping that wall. Overseer has seen everything it needs to see. Zerglings is attacking, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zerglings on that. So it looks like it might be uh, about two minutes before those distractable rocks go down. So let's look at something else. Changeling watching those marines. Very good work there. What tech have we got? We've got double evos, but nothing happening on them. Lots of overlords coming out, which means lots of units. 116. Have we got any tech here? No tech here. We're going Spanishi by catch up over here. Yep, see, it's been about a minute and halfway. So, yeah, six Zerglings. You know, you got 12 minutes. You can do the mass. That's about two minutes. Medivac coming around for a drop. That's going to be exciting. Overseer watching this, sacrificial one still at the back, lots of supplies. Stim, siege is done. Overlord's truth up here and this overlord will possibly see this. Eight marines coming in on the side. Have we got any reaction from Black Market? They're coming all the way around, Baneling Ness coming down as well. Going straight for the spawning pool. Doubt they're going to take it down, so let's go for some drones. Very good. Muters coming in. Muters going to take that all down. That's 12 muters there. Muter Ling always a good combination for map control. We've got a bit of creep spread here. I think it's time that you took a third in this black market. And there it goes out. Drone going out to take that third while creeping up to the middle. Getting that map control and uh, those muters are going to make sure it happens. Holding the front, but uh, what's happening at the back? Around the engineering bay, uh, those muters are going to uh, do a bit of damage. Plus one, plus one going down, that's plus one ground. So after the, the links, you could possibly move that into ultralisk if you wanted to take advantage of all that ground armor and attack. Marines are a long way away, so this guy's going to do a fair amount of damage. We got our 12 workers dead, 13 workers dead, slaughtering those workers, marines coming up around the bottom. But uh, too little, too late. Those muters are going to duck away. Wow, 24 workers killed. Obviously about 20 killed there. Lings were ready for an attack, but they backed away. The siege tanks out front is still pretty scary. Infestation pit going down. And also two hatcheries, so we got one over here and we also have a macro hatch back at home base. Still producing overlords. Lots of overlords, 164 caps, so you can make a ton of units. Thousand gas. We could possibly see uh, some, uh, well, spend 500 of that on banelings, spend another 500 on uh, some muters, and a ton of lings would be perfect. 
Marine, Tank, all in a wonderful combination. But he's going to be spotted as he approaches that creek. Mute is going around the back. Is he going to pull back his army or not? Let's find out. No. He's happy to keep attacking. He's given up on that base. Let's see how his banelings go. Looks like they're a moment too late. Wings holding back. Banelings are going to go first. But will they get there before the sea? Mute coming back home. They're going to take out those tanks from behind while the banelings are Zuglins are coming in the middle. Here we go, we're going to see the attack. Where are those banelings? There they come in, Mutas at the back, taking out the tanks. SCV's coming in on the side, taking the meat shields. They're backing up, the two tanks are going down. Zerglings coming in, followed up by the banelings. And the Zerglings go past, and that banelings do the work. Banelings coming through, taking out everything. Banelings taking out the Marines. And one for powerful defense. GG called by Townsend, but is he actually going to GG at this point? Or is it just say, wow, that was pretty good, GG? He's ready for an attack. Muta's coming around the back. 98 supply to 15 supply. Burning over there. Two medevacs here. 10 drones on the way. Looks like he's going to expand on his gold. Not siege, so that's going to die. And Yes, yeah, so we did see that. Uh, that was pretty really unfortunate due to the wall up. Well, uh, that's the first game to Black Market. So, Black Market up 1 0 to Townsend. I'll see you guys in game two.